Up on the left hand side is Arthur Leclerc on pole. It's Zach O'Sullivan on the right hand side. It's ice to the lights and foot to the floor as we go racing in Silverstone. Good start from pole man O'Sullivan. Leclerc locks in behind him as does Say Maloney. The front three as they were going through turns one and two. Movement in the back as well. We've got, a, I think, a Charouz going out wide, but down through village now. O'Sullivan maintaining the lead. And there comes Jack Crawford fighting for third with Zay Maloney while Kai Collette tries to make it three wide. But Oliver Behrman comes down the inside and gets through on his Prima teammate Jack Crawford down onto the Wellington straight now O'Sullivan leads from Leclerc then comes Zay Maloney once again fighting with the two Bramers Behrman in front of Crawford Behrman's gonna have to go around the outside of Zay Maloney while Kai Collette goes around the outside that becomes the inside of Jack Crawford but we've got contact there between Behrman and Zay Maloney and another car off in the background as well two cars sliding out onto the grass Cola Pinto's off there. Was that an in? That's a big accident. There's all, all the way around the outside comes after Le Leclerc. What a move! Here he comes. Then move for the lead being done just as the safety car comes right. out. Did he get it done in time? So this was the early part of the incident. Tom Behrman has the inside. Yeah, but Behrman's come from off the track. This was the move for the lead there. So Leclerc going around the outside of Stowe, but then the safety car came out. He needs to give back position, give back position. He's given the place back. He has given it back. Caelan and Frederick, though, he's having to defend from the Red Bull car behind him. That is Hadjar, yesterday's race winner, who's got a nose in front coming into Stowe. He'll swoop round the outside. That's where he made the move for the lead yesterday. And he gets in front now. Leclerc now stalking the back of O'Sullivan. He's going to have to do it the long way around here. They go toe to toe down through the hairpin into the next braking zone. Leclerc will now have the inside line. O'Sullivan on the outside. Leclerc through to take the lead on lap six. It is so close between the two Red Bull Juniors, Isaac Hadjar and Jack Crawford, not even a paper length apart as they go side by side into turn one. Hadjar, that's gonna have the inside line and they touch. That sends Crawford off the track. Crawford does rejoin, but slowly Hadjar through. Then comes the other Red Bull rookie of Johnny Edgar and Caelan Frederick all making their way up past Crawford. The Campos car of Hunter Yaney is off and in the grass and looks a little bit stuck coming into fi the final corner, but he is able to get going. This is saucy and there's contact down at Brooklands. So actually Yaney not involved in that collision. He was just getting out of the way. Oh, and that was the hit for Stanek as well with Gregoire Saucy, Hunter Yaney then having to avoid that. Saucy coming into the pit. This was a legacy of the contact at Brooklands that we saw the replay of. Look at that, you can see left hand down for Stanek. He's got a lot of damage. Uh, factor, I think. Big off there into the tyre barrier. Is that coming out of the exit of Cops? Who's that? It's a Van Amersfoort racing car. It's Villa Gomez. It's Villa Gomez, the Mexican racer. Watch and this. it was Nazim Asman on the inside, the Malaysian racer. And front wing gone. They touch, as you say, Tom, before they go into the corner. Asman went straight through too. It's Here uh, he Martin. comes, Victor Martins down the inside of Caleb Frederick. I nearly thought he was going to go all the way deep there, but he holds on to it. Vidalis is going to go around the outside of Caleb Frederick down into Village. That will become the loop. Can Vidalis get the inside line? He locks up the front left for good measure. Frederick fighting fiercely with the, with the wheel. But this time, I think David Vidalis is going to get the better run out. DRS now activated for both of them. It's going to be side on coming into the breaking zone of Brooklyn's. Vidalis will have the inside, but Frederick locks up going around the outside. Can he keep it on the track? No, he can't. He comes back on. Risushi Jima goes through. Contact. Zane Maloney wants to get involved. Meanwhile, Johnny Edgar having to fight with Jack Crawford. Crawford swoops around the outside. Fairly easily done there.
here comes Behrman on Colette as they head up to Brooklyn. I think he was lining that one up from Village. He really gets forced and squeezed to the outside. Behrman, can he hold on around the outside coming into Brooklyn? He does. He's through on Colette. Can Isaac Hadjar come through as well? Can Kai Colette fight back? He tries his best. But Oliver Behrman in the Prima, the red and white number six car, through on the blue number 10 MP Motorsport car. Can Behrman dive down the inside on the final lap coming into Stowe? He tries it, side on the two Brits in their home race. O'Sullivan holds on for now though, coming into the next braking zone, into the final corners. Lock up there for O'Sullivan. That's going to allow Leclerc to get away with it. And Arthur Leclerc will cross the line to take the win. But it's O'Sullivan who just gets to second. Behrman off the track at the end. Well, that was O'Sullivan off podium. the track? Was O'Sullivan off the track when, he, they both fin were. when he finished? Behrman goes aggressive. O'Sullivan outbreaks himself. That was the issue. Then he's compromised through the second element. That gives Behrman the momentum. Now watch. He touches the curb. Oh, he hits the curb, and yeah. that just. Oh, I, I think, I think they might get away with that, you know, because. Behrman, well, there's not much O'Sullivan can do. He's no, got to take evasive action. That's what he was doing. This was happening on the last lap too. Victor Martins getting past Johnny Edgar. And that's the one! Yes! Now I do. Yeah! <laughs> that was a good race. So hard in the end to give the tires a life. Ah, good job, guys. Make our win. The top three, Arthur Leclerc. Zach O'Sullivan and Oliver Behrman really fought to the very end across the line sideways nearly for Behrman. They held on in front of Kaya Collette who just couldn't hang on to that podium in the end. Charles Leclerc and a hug between the brothers there. Let's do it all over again shall we next weekend from the 8th of July where we support the Austrian Grand Prix. Do join us then. Bye bye.